beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed the scope of Christianity for an average believer is being in Christ and walking in a lifetime of doubt and fear, wondering whether you will make heaven or not, and trusting the sound of a trumpet to prove if you disappear, then you are glad you made it. A victorious God would not design such a poor system. Even men with our limited understanding, we have designed intelligent systems god cannot design such a foolish system and keep a man 80 years on earth and the only reason why that man was on earth was to born to be born hand his life to christ and wait until the day he goes to heaven heaven is real heaven is true but let me tell you something god's ultimate goal is not just to go to heaven we are returning god's ultimate goal is to be able to satisfy the fullness of his eternal counsel are we together and this will happen when we fulfill the dominion mandate the mandate to take control to take charge of earth god is always interested in earth notice that everything that has happened in the bible even every time heaven was mentioned it was with respect to earth there's something god wants to be fulfilled here and we are the ones mandated to make it happen governance the bible says the heavens even the heaven of heavens is an ancient word that qualifies like you say daughter of daughters son of sons the heaven of heavens listen belongs to god but he says the earth still part of his kingdom but he has allocated to the sons of men in other words listen carefully brothers and sisters the chaos that is happening in the earth is not the will of god the sicknesses the poverty are we together now the the ugly manifestation of darkness the failures that come to the life of people the spiritual bankruptcy within the nations is a proof that the saints have largely not come into the fullness of God's expectation as far as kingdom governance is concerned. Now in the earth when we vote a governor or a counselor or whatever kind of political leader, we look forward to seeing changes within that, that socioeconomic system. When we see roads being built, hospitals rehabilitated, schools rehabilitated, we now turn back to the person and we say, you have done a good job. And then we do our best to make sure we give him another tenure. But in a situation where under the watch of that person, several things go bad. We turn back to the person and say, you are, this is poor legislature. This is poor execution. It's a sign that you are not serious and you are not qualified for that office. That's why I said God is re-handing over scepters to men. Many of us do not understand what this means. 
dominion has evidences the order and the dexterity that is around your life is a sign that you are alive the bible says something very interesting when you read um psalm 8 and then you go to hebrew chapter 2 um don't turn there i will give us the verses later on but he was speaking about paul was making reference to the psalm of david and he says what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him he says you have made him a little lower than elohim crowned him with glory and you know power and you have set him over the works of your hands now listen and he says in doing so you did not leave anything there was absolutely nothing that includes hiv listen carefully that includes other sicknesses that have not yet been fabricated by the gate of hell that are still coming i hope you know that there are still plagues coming plagues that will make hiv look like malaria hell enlarging itself raising an assault against the saints but jesus said i will build my church and i will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell shall not prevail governance so i'm going to be teaching us how kings reign and god's system of governance will be very fast because i want us to pray we trust god for a supply of great grace tonight in the name of jesus genesis chapter one the book of the beginnings are you ready david sing that song for us while we powerful song for those of you coming here for the first time this is koinonia a habitation that is absolutely conducive for the holy spirit and this is one of the reasons because we allow him to minister and edify the people
bless the Lord. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Now, I want to show you the system of shared dominion. We see it here. Are we together? And God said, read the next two words. One to go. Let us. I'll tell you what else to read. Make man in our own image after our likeness and then the next two words so we see let us let them let us let them there is a dimension of access we need there is a dimension of access they need so it is partnership are we together now kings reign in this kingdom through shared dominion let us there is a dimension of sovereignty that is exclusive to the office of the Godhead. Let us. There is a portion of governance that is allocated and restricted to God's sovereign power and wisdom. The saints can never tap into that dimension. Any act and any desire to want to tap into that dimension will be the same thing that Lucifer did let us that's the first revelation i wanted to have tonight that there is a jurisdiction of kingdom governance that is exclusively exclusively manifested by the godhead the saints have not been apportioned that dimension so you need to understand that there is a restriction to our dominion and we must understand the jurisdiction of governance that's why it is delegated let us when it has to do with making man listen carefully no man can make man it takes god to make men let us when it comes to governance and executing that mandate man can do it but let us man cannot make man so let us make man who makes men in this kingdom talk to me please the word make man there does 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 mean create man it means to cause an effect in man god can make men successful god can make men victorious the making of men is exclusively the office of god paul may plant listen i'm teaching you how kings reign paul may plant apollos may water but the making of joshua selman is only in the office of christ this is good news for you because the person who said you will never make it is a joke find out whose office is responsible for making men let us make men man can try to clone men but he cannot put the image of god in men let us please keep it there make men let us create a kingdom of kings let us use the infinite potential that is resident within us that even the angels have sat for ages in wonder let us use that multifaceted dimension of our wisdom to make this entity and let us make it in such a way that he will be in our image and after our likeness and then when we make him in our image and our likeness our job ends now let them who have been made in our image and our likeness have dominion let us transfer governance to them and allocate a jurisdiction your jurisdiction of governance starts from the second heavens the saints cannot govern in the first heaven heaven is controlled exclusively by the godhead read your bible nobody in the first heaven the heaven of heaven where god dwells has any authority or any power to give any kind of legislature christ himself is the light of that city if at any time you are giving any instructions or authorizing anything in the heaven of heavens you are a rebel the jurisdiction of governance for the saints start in the second heavens that's where demon spirits start because they know that this is where our jurisdiction starts so they move around in the heavenlies but not just the heavenlies where god is so the archangels and all of them only obey instructions they don't invent instructions 
what rules heaven is not ideas is instructions why on earth we are allowed to manifest creativity in heaven there is creativity but it's not a derivative of the individual no 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 the creativity is exclusively god's will and then whatever you are allocated you obey it as an instruction let them let us make them then they have dominion over the fish of the sea now you may think that he's just mentioning water air he is mentioning jurisdictions these are territories with spiritual implications the first he says the fish of the sea usually he will use a creature that resides within that habitat and uses it as a template that means that man should have dominion over the sea that means no manipulation that has to do with water as an element of the supernatural should have expression is a mandate let him have dominion it's not about fish it's about the sea because you see the sea is not just a place of fish the sea is where the mystery of abundance comes abundance is tied to the sea let them have dominion mm. read for me verse 20 and 21 20 and 21 please let me show you something about water read are you a christian we are reading 20 and 21 ready and God said stop where did the creatures come out from read your Bible where did they come out of are you seeing that now let the waters bring forth abundance the moving creature that had life and the fowl that may what so the birds came out of where <laughs> that may fly above the earth in an open firmament of heaven in case you thought it was just a mistake of translation let's read 21 one to go uh-huh which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after listen this is the reason why every shrine every native doctor evil is always associated with water when jesus was going to the other side the sea started getting boisterous jesus understood the dynamics they thought it was just a storm jesus smiled and said be still be still as soon as he went over a madman was waiting there full of demons and said jesus you have come abundance i give you dominion dominion over the sea and the mysteries that are hidden there let's go back to 26 and then the fowl of the air the air is a territory is a habitat that requires an execution of dominion it was solomon in his wisdom that said when men speak there are invisible birds that carry their words is it in your bible <laughs> i want a child and that word is transported to a region where it should not be and you sleep in the night and a stranger comes because someone invited him and comes to sleep with you and all of a sudden the pregnancy is lost the power the air is so important satan said demons you can rule anywhere but me i want to many of you think satan is down this air is where mysteries happen whoever takes control of the spiritual climate the air the physical atmosphere you'll be so blessed tonight i want to open your eyes to certain things there is a way kings reign it's not just by speaking i will never be this calm down just let's take it easy and you will understand that most of what we are doing is called vain babbling we talk and think that because we are mentioning right words uh -uh. 
and over what is the third territory the earth the earth this ground you see is a deep ancient mystery everybody listen carefully this earth you see is not just sand what kind of entity is it that you can dig a hole throw corn close it back no battery no electricity it starts coming with roots tied to it and you no longer can remove the tree again when humans die we don't leave them in the sky we plant them in the earth the tallest building in the world has a point of contact with the earth every human being alive the earth is a universal point of contact every human being makes contact with this earth and he gave us dominion and then over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and the bible says let them have dominion that means listen genesis 1 26 is not an is not a suggestion it's not an advice it's not one of those communications in scripture where the bible say i said before you this and that it was a decree a divine decree by the godhead he said this man we have made let them have dominion in other words we transfer the governance of this territory from the day god said let them have dominion he relinquished direct control over the earth and the heavenlies he restricted himself to the first heavens listen this is the mystery behind god needing men so helplessly that you see sometimes god will look like he's he's frustrated because he cannot find a man and sometimes we are tempted to ask god are you not mighty are you not so mighty can't you just come in and do whatever you have to do and he says no i passed a decree if it was a suggestion it would have been changed when kings pass decrees they don't bend to it it is stamped it is sealed let them have dominion over territories let them have dominion i have allocated spheres of influence and according to revelation chapter 5 verse 10 as we have read in previous series um, um, parts of the series how that we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we have been mandated to reign to reign to reign i want you to get that word dominion is not bragging dominion is legislature dominion is governance dominion is managing the earth on behalf of heaven forcing the earth to reflect the glory the character the power the possibilities of god and part of the system of management includes some of the things that i'm going to be showing you are you ready let me show you how to have dominion 1 verse 28 and god blessed them and said unto them these are the facets that are contained in dominion number one be fruitful be fruitful there is no dominion without fruitfulness number two multiply that means god's idea is not just that you rule alone to multiply means that your seed your seed your seed must also partake in governance not just your physical seed your seed is anything that comes out of you your ideas are we together where you subdue territories because you have been able to multiply replenish the system of restoration that when things deplete in everyone who loves god and is powerful and understands the dominion mandate there is no such thing as a dry season forever because fabricated and put in man is the ability to replenish replenish meaning that you are you are mandated to turn any desert situation physically and spiritually replenish and then subdue subdue confront the limiting factors confront the resistances 
and prevail over them that's how you have dominion upon every other thing now this looks very simple until i begin to share with you the things that god has put in my heart tonight anybody who does not execute this fourfold mandate any institution that does not execute this fourfold mandate will never never move forward are we together yes. there must be a system of continuity replenishing replenishing that's why when satan wants to corrupt this mandate from a family he starts killing all the men in that family he's trying to sabotage the capacity to replenish so that gradually they, he will wipe away from the face of the earth that family and what they represent both spiritually and physically the inability to be productive is a cause many people do not understand that the inability to be fruitful the inability to multiply yourself your results your potentials is limited he made a garden in the east of eden an authorized man that through a system that man will extend that garden all over the earth god never created the whole earth and made it like the, the whole earth was not the garden of eden the garden of eden was a portion and man was kept there to see and acclimatize himself with that environment and be able to tap the resources from eden and now use them to reproduce earth governance entails a number of things we must understand how kings reign in this kingdom because for many of us our concept of governance is usurping authority over men are we together when we say you are in governance even from a kingdom dimension many people's idea is that i have two or three people that answer yes sir to me and once they see that they say wow i am in governance and then i ill treat them in the public to show that i have some kind of superior advantage that is not dominion that is oppression oppression everywhere this template of oppression was told there was rebellion somewhere sometime read it all through scripture pharaoh oppressed the people of god for a long time one day they were tired god too was tired he joined them and together they sank into the red sea and their lives that kingdom that dynasty just went places you do not oppress men oppression is not dominion let me talk about oppression before i talk about this do you know what oppression is oppression is a system of stopping other people from manifesting dominion also it's a dangerous state it's an antichrist spirit oppression including pastors including prophets apostles most people what we call dominion is oppression refusing resources from reaching people to keep them poor is a strategy by the enemy for oppression that's not dominion hiding potentials from people for their minds to be oriented so that they can also be empowered so that you keep them as slaves history is full of wicked kings dictators monarchs and individuals who refuse to supply information that empower people when you rob people of truth in order to keep them loyal it's not dominion it's oppression and we still do it in the modern day today we still do it in churches with all due respect there are men of god whose idea of fatherhood whose idea of mentorship is oppression is witchcraft we take away the liberty of people i don't mean accountability we literally create a theology that makes us own people we own their lives we own their time are you ready for oppression number two unemployment forever is oppression <clears throat> did you hear what i said unemployment forever for the purpose of salary is a system of oppression 
I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome God. Mortal man, awesome God. According to scripture, read your Bible. Employment, employment as we know, started with Jacob and Laban. Is that true? God would work with people and allow you to serve under a system to learn and to be built. But a time must come. You don't need to have a new platform, but you no longer receive salary. You become a partaker of the blessings of that system. This is God's system. Are we together? But it was Laban that brought this wicked antichrist strategy of being a servant and an employee forever don't i'm not saying you should hate your boss i'm just telling you where this thing came from because jacob came in with the blessing and he began to make laban prosper and laban noticed that this man had something that made him prosper then laban went and used divination spells powers and he found out that there was something on jacob and he said i will leave this guy i will keep tipping him enough to remain with me then one day jacob asked a question and said i have served you when will i now go and have my own house when will i build my own life and laban said don't ever bring that statement again does that sound like employment i will keep you here and then later he said okay i need a wife and this guy look at how wicked he was when he knew that he was going to get his wife this man suffered for seven good years when it was time to have his wife what happened they changed them is that true and then kept him again look how jacob suffered like a fool he was the one who was doing the work but who was the credit going to listen any system in the world that keeps people as employers forever regardless of their productivity is a cost system i know many people will insult me for what i'm saying that's the reason why people finish working after 40 years and live miserable lives god is a god that starts by helping men serve others and build but eventually they must become partakers of the blessings and the benefits the people, the tribe that does this well are evil people today. You see it? They are using that kingdom system. That's why there is continuity. So they bring in a young boy and he serves for a while. Is that true? And then eventually they now start telling him, okay, we leave you in the shop. And then one day there's what we call settling. Am I right, evil people? And that settling, you don't just say, okay, go back to your father's house. No. You are able to bring up something that is strong enough to bless that then him too he will now stand on his own the mandate multiply multiply that's why the jews are exceptional people today notice some of the best firms in the world that's what they do the moment you are, you are working and you get to a level they stop paying you salary your salary becomes in percentage that means they give you an identity within that corporation. You don't necessarily need to have your own corporation. Are you seeing a corruption of the dominion mandate? That's why there are people who never become anything in life because they subscribe to an innocent system that keeps allocating tips to just keep them there. And for as long as they are there forever, you serve somebody for 40 years and live with a bye-bye. That's a cost system. You don't like what you're hearing? Huh. You better like it too, because this is what is responsible for the decadence in the lives of people. In the name of spiritual fatherhood, I believe in fatherhood, I believe in mentorship. But there are people today who own the ATMs of people. There are pastors who own the ATMs of people. There are pastors who own, they can tell anybody, bring me your car bring me your this oh no come on please oppression is not dominion never confuse oppressing people 
to oppress people means to take away their right of liberty forcefully to take away their right of even um in in ancient times there was a season called jubilee jubilee F after every seven year there was a sabbath and then after 49 years seven sets of sabbaths the 50th year was declared a year of jubilee and at that year you will release every slave not just release them to go but empower them no matter what happened to them but you can empower them and they can say you have been a good master for me i don't want to go in that case you will pierce their ears as a sign that they are no longer they are not just servants out of um, um oppression are we together they have become servants willfully born servants there is a lot of oppression in our world and that's why the dominion mandate has suffered even among believers we pride ourselves in oppression so I just needed to balance that straight away so that many of us do not fabricate the idea of oppression to feel I need to go back to my house. Dominion mandate. My wife has not been listening to me. Now that I'm going back, she will know that I have dominion. Where are you? From today, you cook what I eat. That's, that's, that's not it. There are several people from several nations listening and it's, it will be costly to assume. We need to define the concepts here that we are stating so that people do not oppress people a man does not go and start beating his child and killing his child and say i am your father you must listen to me oppression everywhere from the bible and through history where there was oppression there was a rebellion and a revolt eventually how do kings reign how do we execute this dominion mandate when it comes to execution and legislature what are the systems what are the dimensions of dominion number one how do we dominate in this kingdom the ministry of prayer number one i want to show you how kings legislate how we dominate the ministry of prayer philippians chapter 4 please 6 and 7 you will not suffer my food to be I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me Portal man, awesome God. Portal man, awesome God. be careful for nothing the word careful there is not just um, uh, to not play caution that's not what he's saying are we together it, it, it describes um the the resistance that comes as a result of fear of uncertainty and it says be careful for nothing but in everything by what prayer and supplication let your request the authorized system of presenting your request to the headquarters is prayer not complaining not grumbling grumbling does not call the attention of heaven please listen i know some of us you know we are humans and sometimes we can be confronted by challenges and then we just think by shouting oh god what is this now are you not watching how about god am i not your child that is emotional that is human that is consoling but you have not made your request made it says by prayer and supplication then with thanksgiving this is the system the same way when you have a company if pastor alpha has a company now and say i'm his secretary he will have to teach me how to present requests to his table are we together there are others you need to write and sign we need five bags of this ten bags of this we need to go on a trip this is the cost and then you put everything and submit it in the ministry here in koinonia there is a system where requests get to my table you don't just walk and say i think i need water no there is a system are we together now the leaders have been trained to understand the system where you pass your request whether as a department whatever it is and the finance department has been trained to respond to those needs only when the system is well complied with so what makes you believe 
that heaven is haphazard oh god just hear me there is a system are you hearing what i'm saying now that every time you need help you don't wish it you don't grumble about it you don't just say pray for me oh prayer band you are going on tuesday abby please when you go tell my sister that i couldn't make it just pray for me let me tell you i'm not against intercession but i'm against laziness spiritually and any other dimension he says by prayer by what prayer is a system of dominion on the earth men who do not pray cannot legislate the authorized system to present your request to heaven is prayer and supplication backed up by thanksgiving as a sign of faith that you did not pray to an animal you pray to an intelligent god seated in the heavens let me tell you something if you don't end your prayer a quality prayer giving thanks you missed out a major portion it's like cooking and forgetting salt and forgetting maggi and say no problem just eat it like that there is a serious problem now you may say the quantity of salt is small but don't put it and see how it alters the taste believers do not pray we live in a time and age where pray for me is the most popular language among believers pray for me prayer department pray for me benga promise pray for me pastor alpha i'm not against uh, maybe a higher anointing helping you but we have lazy people there are all kinds of financial seeds now there is a battle seed you know what a battle seed is that means i don't have the time and the luxury to pray so what happens is that i encourage you with a seed and with that seed you will spend the night praying while i'm sleeping see let's not lie to ourselves here we are christians are we together the bible says let your request you are the one in that fire you are the one who wants to come out let your request no make it known through prayer the first system of legislature is prayer let's look at first timothy 2 long reading from verse 1 to 8 quickly please first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 and then i'll share a few things about prayer and um i may just give us three or four dimensions of the of dominion then we'll round up tonight first timothy chapter 2 first timothy are we still there media first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 we're reading down to 8 i exhort therefore this is paul now speaking to his son in the gospel timothy that first of all what supplications prayers intercession are you seeing now paul obeying that rule too and giving of thanks be made for what all men prayer is important intercession 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 is not just praying for souls intercession is agreeing with god on behalf of people that certain things still find expression on the earth because of the benefit of that thing even to you as a person read on verse 2 then he says to pray for what kings and for all that are in authority does it look like nigeria is doing this we are not doing it all we are not praying for kings we are not praying for those in authority we are complaining and we are angry we are saying all kinds of things bringing all kinds of political things i'm teaching you how kings dominate how many workers pray for their bosses there is a reason why god says to pray for your superiors he says and for kings and all that are in what any kind of authority why that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that we including you the person praying there is an effect of their misgovernance on you and so for that sake you have to pray and say lord you I, I trust you to come in that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty 
if we do not intercede for leaders we don't intercede for nigeria and for africa you don't intercede for your boss let me tell you something listen it's a very serious secret i want to share with you every time you pray for your superior you have access to their heart no matter how godless they are practice this and watch wonders that happen every time you pray for your superiors god grants you access to their heart oh that stupid boss stupid stupid man he removed ten thousand from my salary god is hearing you now you would think you will win because it's true that he removed that there is something about authority that even god respects he says pray that we may lead a peaceable and quiet life in godliness and honesty verse 3 for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior uh-huh who will have all men to be what be saved we need to pray and intercede do you know hold on do you know the decadence in society is because there are many people who are not saved are we together step into a village a community where there is a there is a spread of unbelievers there's only one church in that city only one pastor who is not even sure he's born again let me tell you hell will prevail over that city do you know why because there is no spiritual resistance nobody is saved children are in occult from three years four years five years you see them telling you stories that will make you not sleep you know why because god does not have envoys within those a, a territory it matters that god finds a people it is in the multitude of men that the king's honor lies when god does not have men in a city it affects the growth of that place there are cities in the world there are cities in nigeria where god has very little men and we know what happens to the cause of the kingdom within those territories there is darkness there is oppression and all kinds of things and then he says that god will have all men to what not only be saved comma but to come into the knowledge of the truth because there are people who are saved but ignorance can keep a society are you seeing how we dominate you step into a society and you see poor people everywhere the highest person has just one house with mud and you are looking and say lord there is there are levels of truth that we do not know the average family within that territory lasts only five years all the children are armed robbers by 10 the ladies marry by 12 not because they want to marry once she's 11 11 and a half she's pregnant are we together and all of a sudden you find out that there's disobedience stealing smoking drinking all kinds of decadence the bible says that god wants men to come into the knowledge of the truth an irresponsible man who cannot take care of his family and you are within that territory the bible says you can begin to dominate over that territory it's a lost art that we don't know in church again to pray over territories until we shift the climate in that territory and begin to cause things to happen read the world revival read revivals that have passed there were men who prayed non-stop for 100 years for certain things to happen some of us our mother started praying since we were born now you are 20 years you wanted to get into something that, that you didn't like that climate there was already a build up a spiritual fortification we do not pray over environments we do not pray over territories we do not intercede that god will step in and say lord invade zaria have you noticed the developments that have been happening in zaria in recent times there used to be old buildings everywhere because you see a city assumes the shape of the spirit that controls it yes the economy of a city the 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 level of civilization in that city is a reflection of the controlling powers is one of the ways you know that the city is under oppression there are many of us like that you enter your city you see red zings everywhere uncompleted buildings everywhere those traits are symbols they are signs they are tokens they are representations of controlling powers over cities 
and the bible says when we want to begin to liberate cities not give me tea not give me bread I'm teaching you the prophetic and intercessory dimension of prayer where you begin to travel until you shift away the spiritual climate of territories for many years and it's still happening in Zaria men and women Zaria Zaria is like a woman that has been pregnated with the prayers of the saints Zaria is full of the history of moves after moves of men and women who have prayed some of them did not even know what was leading them every night every day in zaria there is always something happening somebody is praying somewhere in your room at the back of one fence somewhere under a tree prayer doesn't matter the location and gradually you begin to see now there is peace that we can be happy i mean look at this covering a road a main road like this in a city like zaria and nobody comes to oppress you those of you who have stayed long in this city knows that you know that these things were not like that ah that people can shake their hands that's what happens when people legislate one of the chiefest way for dominion is prayers please i don't know how to make you believe this there's no such thing as i'm not called into that ministry if you are called to reign the first symbol of your legislature is the ability to pray not just for your needs but to be supplied the burden of a territory to pray until the purposes of god are located over that territory comes to pass do you know why prayer meetings have the lowest turnout in many churches it's an attack and sadly many pastors many so people don't like to pray it's a lie with all humility i think one of the largest gatherings after koinonia in terms of the the prayers here in koinonia is the tuesday prayer meeting you see people rushing happy to pray you know why there is a spirit of prayer and supplication it's more than desire you don't pray just using desire you may start with desire i've taught you consistency draws the spirit responsible to you every time you are doing a thing consistently because you have your own human will are we together you can take alcohol willingly it may not be by the influence of a spirit it doesn't mean you you are an alcoholic no but by the time you are taking gouda every day one week two weeks the spirit of drunkenness is drawn through your consistency that's how prayer is most people want to receive the impartation of prayer before they pray let me give you a big secret your consistency you are always going behind that fence every night shaka -daba 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 one hour two hours you go back you carry your small rechargeable one hour two hours one day something will happen to you i guarantee you you will stand there and be praying and the heavens will open you will check your time and see that it's five o'clock events begin to launch in your life one day you go to pray and then you see somebody come to join you too you see this is how ministry starts i really feel I, and i don't say this in a condemning way i feel sorry for people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i mean i mean you two you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time 
and you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory and you snore your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i changed this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look god is the god of all flesh the, the curtain has been torn uh, you know left and right there's no priest again no mediator and and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage we come up and stand bragging making our voices husky and god is here right now and uh, you're about to see what will happen here and at the end and you know members are very dangerous people they note everything you say you said the power of god will move so they're waiting at the end of it you try and say you people did not fast and then all these things and you say look this guy is it that you cannot play this keyboard because they think it's a charm clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard they are they are, they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall and usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down say you stand up why do we do this listen power is real pay the price through prayer pay the price through prayer write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion number one prayer is responsible for building your discernment your growth and giving you direction prayer do you know i have discovered that over 60 percent i'll repeat what i just said but listen over 60 percent of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction direction what to do where to go lord should i be in zaria now or should i leave lord is this house your will for me or not if the issue of direction is sorted out many people will not be where they are prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody's rising nobody's succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school oh it's not old school 
no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that God is in what you are doing please I beg you in the name of Jesus pay it to marry pay it I think I, I God gave me a brain I feel like having 11 children you better pray you better pray pray don't let carnality drive us we live I, I'm very serious carnality has destroyed many people we don't seek God for direction we seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired we now run and say God why didn't you stop me and God said me no I gave you a will I've already said let them have dominion if you return back to me prayer is a sign of humility it's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated prayer is a great sign of humility imagine that you make somebody maybe a director in your company and he never comes to your office to ask for questions never comes you are telling him if there's any confusion please come to me you call him after two weeks is there any problem? no 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 boss I'm, I'm okay i mean you just taught me and then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing and say why didn't you come say boss i've told you Shabi, you say if i need i will come there you are destroying that man's company and your pride prayerlessness is pride though it's not just sin it's pride will i be able to live my life without prayer leading a ministry like this you know many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication are we together when you know that let me tell you the truth ask those who are close to me i pray to get topics it doesn't mean i don't plan but i sit down and i pray lord please speak to me speak to me speak to me the goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar calendar events the goal is to find out make sure what you are saying is what the spirit is saying because when you say what god is not saying he cannot back you remember in the book of ezekiel is wherever the spirit goes that the cherubims follow you see that don't just come and bring nonsense and want god to back you god is not a house boy we must respect him to prayer if you are here and you have never joined the prayer department even if it's for once for prayer why don't you make it this tuesday apostle i don't feel like praying that's why you should know your life is under attack so one way is to go where there is a family of believers and catch the fire say in the name of jesus i receive grace to return back to the place of consistent prayer how consistent is your prayer every day how many days every day we don't pray once a week we may take out serious time once a week we pray every day don't let some of this with all due respect some of these western jargons that has destroyed us you are in africa find out the history of africa the person who is a prayer warrior is still struggling to stand on his two legs you that you are not doing anything now you want a free job in one year free wife twins what, what kind of demand in this world oh come on pray take charge of climate you get up in the morning you are happy you are going to take a serious trip you are hearing that people are dying on the road it's not to plant fear you don't you don't send any prophecy into your morning carelessness here and there we live our lives and we are victims of circumstances we must return to the place of prayer what of families that used to pray before and god promoted them a little no prayer again daddy it's time to pray for you are, you are stupid if you come here again don't you know that i'm now the director see that see let me tell you any promotion and any lifting that steals your prayer life has affected you you better go back to god and create a system around your prayer truth be told there are some of us that may not have all that convenience to pray in the morning but you must find a time personally i'm a i'm a night person i have caught this mystery of night night prayers night silence concentration discernment fewer calls oh god fire 
in my life fire in koinonia fire upon my enemies it's not our prayer life it's my prayer life my prayer life do you pray jesus prayed as the son of god as the son of god he didn't pray sometimes the bible say while it is early in the morning what will it see let me teach you please if you belong to any group here or any church or any fellowship talk to your people about prayer this is not just some 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 secret allocated to a pentecostal ministry if you don't pray you will be weak you will never be able to birth anything serious believe me you see something with satan when you don't pray he won't attack you yet satan is not a fool once he attacks you and the fire gets too hot you will run back and ask for forgiveness and start praying so he leaves you no prayer but you are still moving forward and then you laugh at those who are praying ah so far ahead and he leaves you it's like a meter you keep going down down there is a level you go down he will just close you there first now that he has closed you that's when you see that in one week everything just goes haywire in your life are we together one week couples getting married they plan they are praying praying the moment they get married they throw god away finally our fears have been resolved and the devil says i'm coming he left jesus for a season jesus for a season came back again through peter jesus said i see you get lost came back through Judas. jesus said okay i allow you the hidden wisdom of god that Paul saw. Please, we must pray. Every church service must have a section allocated for prayer, no matter how small. I don't care whether it is a it is a uh, a Bible study session is whatever it is. A prayer should be part and parcel of any serious church service. For step by step, you are leading me. And I will follow you all of my days. Why do we pray? We pray to exercise spiritual influence over territories. Why do we pray as a system of dominion? To exercise spiritual influence. Your church will never grow if you don't pray. Your church will never grow just because you are anointed. No. There are many anointed people who never experience growth. You need to pray. Why? Because a great door and an effectual has been opened, but many adversaries. Satan will try to paint pictures about you that discredits you before those who need your grace. You must pray. Satan will veil the eyes of people to identify you. You must pray. Don't assume. Pray. It's better for their to be a prayer team and a worship team and no excellence in the church is very bad but at least it's better to have a prayer team and a worship team they are the two areas of attack in any church when satan wants to bring down a church listen there are two departments other departments are important don't get me wrong but he infiltrates their prayer team he infiltrates the place of psalmistry where the incense of worship is rising when satan cripples the worship team through bitterness offense are we together name it prayer people pride arrogance me too i am a i am a i i, I now have one small fellowship so don't talk to me anyhow if you are not giving me prayer to lead i'm not coming pride that's how it begins to bend We regulate the spiritual climate over territories through prayer. I shared with us, I think it was last week, of the vision that I saw of someone. I saw somebody fetching something on his hand. Like, you know how you fetch chaff and just blew it like this. And then I started seeing like sicknesses coming on people. We prayed last week here. 
help her. See that? I saw it. Listen, if you don't pray, things will be happening above you. You will never know. And you will sit down. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Victory belongs to him. Oh, 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 oh. The victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. one minute i like you to blast in the spirit just just shake up your spirit we are men and women of dominion through prayers we take charge of our climate charge of our territories we stay in the hands of evil Come on, pray, pray, believers. Shake of every evil, shake of every plot, shake of every agenda. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, let me believe us. Let me teach you something. The moment you sense your climate, the moment you sense a presence within your climate, the moment you are lying down in the night and you are sensing like there's someone else in this room, verify by blasting in tongues. Don't ask questions. Shabos Kataratosia. Help that lady, please. No matter what time of the night, whether it is raining or there is sun or moon. Hallelujah. Hold on. How about dreams? some bad dreams are not from demons they are a sign they are the angels trying to tell you something is wrong wake up wake up the spirit is willing this body you have drunk it with food you have drunk it with carnality no capacity to stand up and legislate
hallelujah hallelujah you are going to sit down shortly but listen to me if you don't have an allocation of special times to deal with spiritual issues in your life you are not growing you are not a spiritual person please hear me by god's grace and i say it with all humility i think with all humility i'll be one of the busiest persons in this place i travel all the time i don't pray at the same rate every day but you must allocate time time where if you if need be you switch your phone if you can keep it on keep it on but pray all this issue of i have a program somewhere i have a wedding somewhere is it not when you are alive i'm not talking of praying as a result of fear you are a king there is a scepter on your hand let them remember this word let them if you must sanitize your environment it is up to you fathers teach your children how to pray not just how to go to school teach them how to pray when you are praying carry them don't say they are small they are sleepy that's why we thank god for these our little ones if they sleep let them sleep while prayer is going hear me samuel was lying down close to the ark that's why he had the voice of god you don't hear the voice of god everywhere he said above the mercy seat below the cherubims there i will meet with you and i will relate with you intimately please sit down why do we pray prayer gives you the access to the heart of god and the heart of men let me teach you dominion why do we pray it gives you access hear me there are hardened men in our world who will never give you access to their heart there are wicked men who are holding what belongs to you they will never release it until god gives you their heart he said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously that was the song of miriam that the horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea don't sit down and wait and, and allow people to waste your time and talk nonsense. A lecturer somewhere is refusing to let you go. You have been begging, he's not listening. He's saying, bring this, bring that, or come and meet me somewhere. You are saying, sir, let me move. It's because you don't understand dominion. All right, sir, I've heard you. Jata, skata. Regete kotos Carry your course, uh, your, your course form. Put it on the ground blast in tongues and declare i may be your student in the physical but i'm a king in the spirit i decree and declare you must let me go Masas kotabaya sign chapter 3 oh regete katakata the next day you walk to the office good afternoon sir hey you again well, well, well. as he's signing you are seeing the scepter is on your hands listen you are not the first to go through that problem if you don't know how to bail yourself out you can die in that problem and god is still on the throne there are few people who have experienced the victory that prayer brings people have experienced victories impartation prophetic words but that you prayed and turned the hand of things to work in your favor if that happens you will not backslide in prayer again some of us by the grace of god and with all humility we have been in places that only prayer could bring us out where you pray and you don't just pray alone you pray and tell the person what to say in the physical and you come out and you wait for that word look at how many of our parents not moving forward you are asking them what is wrong they say eh, you are seeing somebody was 50 years they fired an arrow his leg is not working and now your father is about to be 50 and all of you in the family are watching and laughing watching and laughing you don't watch and laugh i've shared with you my story my father's younger brother died like a chicken my father's elder brother died like a chicken i have seen my mother's obituary in the spirit i stopped it come on now refuse to allow things just move around in your life 
you have you have a dream and you are already seeing them sack five people in your family you get up and keep the dream in your stomach until the day they sack them then you come as a fake prophet and say i saw it what did you do about it listen prophets cried in the bible when things happen and they did not see they said lord why did you hide this from me god hid things from prophets if you wanted it to happen because he knew if they saw it they would stop it do you know consistent prayer will shake certain spirits out of you by themselves they are lying down there quiet and you are being deceived that oh don't worry you no spirit can find expression in your life and they are quiet there you continue praying every day sometimes when you are praying you sense and then you calm down continue a day will come have you not seen people praying by themselves they get to a level where that spirit can no longer stay the fire becomes too hot it must jump out of them that's what is happening to some of you now and i command those devils i speak standing by this authority i invoke the power of my secret place and i decree and declare that if there be any spirit in this place by the god of heaven i curse them now i curse their operation i curse them now i curse their operation If you let the devil he will kill you I tell you this thing the Bible says resist the devil resist the devil it didn't say discourse it didn't say keep watching things happen no favor every door has closed over you you are seeing that is an attack will you wait until you die or will you pray and force the gates to open can we pray in one minute a favor provoking prayer and say i command the gates of favor open the way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is by passing decrees the power of words write it down kings reign by passing decrees ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4 media help us please we have to conserve time because i want us to pray kings reign by passing decrees the same way in the national house of assembly they sit down and legislate it passes first reading second reading and they pass it into law whoever violates that law has offended the federal government where the word of a king is there is what that means words if you are not a king your words don't have power the power is only for kings when they speak when you are royalty your words are not ordinary where the word of a king is there is power if you are not a king there is no power where the word of a king is passing decree is not just prayer passing decree is commanding realities to be established in the spirit that i decree and declare that nobody nobody becomes a victim of so 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 and so in this family that's a decree elijah passed a decree there will be no rain i make it so let me tell you something listen the diviners and the witches in our villages this is how they program the destiny of men they invoke decrees nobody crosses 25 in this family even when they die the decree is still in force until someone else who has authority and understanding comes and vetoes that decree there must always be a ruling statement in the atmosphere if you don't like the one over you change it change it change it growing up i didn't see very successful people 
from my paternal side there were not many successful people and the thing was like a curse able-bodied men but they never really become anything serious the list of the list is and i said no way oh no way no way no way no way where the word of a king is there is power what have you said about your life or what have you allowed to be said about your life it matters who you say amen to it matters what you say amen to don't listen to any kind of nonsense and say amen somebody looks at you and say all of you are failures you don't have to confront them but reject it immediately in your spirit i am not a failure i am not no 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 i reject it ah marriage is now you see the way it is i'm only praying for you i hope you will like your marriage you may not confront the person because you rebuke an elder not in public but you keep quiet in your heart no way mine is heaven on earth i make that choice decrease kings reign by decrease let me show you something isaiah 43 verse 26 isaiah 43 verse 26 while the media is trying to give us that i want you to write this down hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 the bible says god upholds all things by the word of his power even god uphold, upholds the universe read with me the b part please from let us everybody is projected one to read let us plead together uh-huh go ahead declare thou that what so how are you justified in the spirit you declare if you say i am free god says satan you had him he's done that's why the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so not wish so let the unemployed who want jobs say so not wish so when confession is made with understanding it is powerful it no longer becomes vain babbling my life is surrounded by words i have built a circumference around my life with words like mysteries number three sit down the third way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is through creativity and innovation now listen carefully i'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here exodus 35 please give us 31 to 33 exodus 35 many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual this is talking about a man we call in the bible a popular scripture a man called bezalel are we together the tabernacle was about to be constructed and god had to move upon a man called bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent he will innovate our world today especially the church we are bankrupt of creativity that's why we are not creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule google apple amazon are we together all these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity you will never never be great in life if you rule alone your ideas must rule with you your seeds must rule with you you are too small to command dominion alone you must spread your seeds today zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we're reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to de to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrease are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to work in gold and in silver and in brass last verse 
and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to first your physical offspring but much more than that that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor god and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why i hate laziness laziness is anti-dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like i said we fast just like i said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds versace gucci right angela galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together Bishop David Oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seeds. Somebody says, I read his book and I've been changed. Parents are your children, are your seeds rising to take over. He says, his seed shall be mighty upon the earth. Psalms 112. His seed shall be mighty. His seed not have a mighty name. A big name. Is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses? Where are the conglomerates? Where are the value-adding structures? We almost don't have it in church. We sit around and we brag and we're happy. That's why I encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence. I've said it like a national anthem. I will not pastor weak people. I'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter. No. That's why I'm a friend to politicians. That's why I'm a friend to kings. You don't have to be corrupted by them. But you can stand i believe in influence are we together is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing why because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask ali kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply i think eight hours by the number of workers i have that's how many hours i have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime now 
God is a God of transference. At a point in your life, you're, you should be able to end the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else. A mother who has five children, none of them can cook. That's a bad testimony for a mother. A father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances, has never taught them on marriage, has never mentored them on being a man, just leaves them to chance. That's why many young people are not successful. You know why? There is no transference. No transference. In Jewish days, fathers worked with their sons. When they became teenagers, they said, hey, settle down. Let me teach you how to be a man. You don't guess it. I teach you. Manhood is responsibility. This, oh yeah, I allocate a farm for you. Go and work. But right now, as a student, if you are doing any other thing, they say, don't do any other thing, no, settle down school. But you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say you're a very nice person. You see how we make people lazy. You see an able-bodied young man, a Christian, tongue talker, comes to stand in front of your house and say, I've not eaten. There are grasses everywhere. Grasses everywhere. Why don't you sit and say, let me see how I can buy a machine and then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me i'm having lectures your seed is ruling listen i want you to be seed conscious most of us all we know about seed is money your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence is your seed it doesn't have to be human technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds so you write a book you sit down and you say look the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem i think there is something that the people within ss2 to maybe 100 level do not understand you come up with a book you release it that's your seed that's dominion are we together when you open a restaurant and i come and i'm eating when i'm eating your food that's dominion because it came from you a product of your creativity listen write it down i will never be lazy again in my life this this cultural massage that is given to adults that makes adults feel like children an able-bodied young man gets up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock he's snoring around the bed say don't worry just leave him he's a last born very soon that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the gods to go and tell his parents he wants to marry see this is i don't have a problem this is why sometimes you see and i'm being honest i know their parents here this is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say i want to marry and the parents say oh God, go and sit down first they get angry and say you are stopping my destiny but let's be sincere are you going to eat your fingers are you going to eat your fingers responsibility your seed apostle i don't have a job what did you read um i read physics education and you don't have a job why don't you open an extramoral center only five courses maths physics english uh, what was the fourth one chemistry and biology for them whatever it is you add five of them that's the only thing i'm doing and you mentor those people you charge one person ten thousand you you trust god and pray and have 50 to 100 students will you beg for bread again we want something for nothing this laziness in africa is a cause parents please i challenge you any of your child that is matured enough tell him from today listen you are not just going to be getting free money after every month mommy i need money the next time i see grass in this house there's no salary for you it looks harsh but you have to train them even if your children are prosperous they must be disciplined many lazy people will not like what i've said but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people there is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity don't ever say there is nothing i have to do you can cook who is eating your food you can make donut start in your room don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of 900,000. Who do you think will give you the money? Start in your room. There are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity. Very soon, they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen. Dominion. 
they start exporting it we're about rounding up but lay your hands on your head and pray one minute lord everything you are buried within me that i'm to dominate with that seed i prophesy it must come out i command the books to come out i command the programs to come up are you praying please don't let the devil say you will not succeed do it and fail but prophesy let the catering school come out in the name of jesus let the exercise books come out in the name of jesus let the award-winning tailoring um, um, outfit come out let the extra moral center come out let the business come out let the bank come out let the investment house come out hallelujah please sit down i want you to know after today i want you to go and sit down please especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything don't just pray and say god when will you wipe my tears that's a foolish prayer go and sit down find a good friend and sit down and say no we have to do something we are do it and fail failure does not kill do it how much do you have 100,000 300,000 let's have an agreement and sit down at least you have 500 i have 500 you can buy one golf we can buy a golf and start put it on the road it's bringing 10 to 20 thousand every week we are starting all this laziness around that people just do and say i'm a king you are not a king dominion through creativity in fact there is a message like that you can get it after this after the service some of you plot and your plotting is unusually exceptional why don't you package it why don't you package it some of you sing worship team some of you are looking at me god is telling you it's time there are some of you there is a day worship team will produce the album but start writing songs write songs how many songs have you written two when will you write the rest god is helping me you are not serious you are absolutely not serious are you not seeing in the body of christ now people are tapping into their innate creativity i'm not only a man of god and many other things I'm a businessman, I'm a leader over people, I'm a mentor to people. Everything God put in me will find expression. There are books that will be written. There are many other things that will be done. Dominion, Dominion, Covenant University, Landmark University, Dominion Publishing House. One time I was watching Dr. Miles Munro's videos and he carried six books and he hid them. And he said, if there was no Dr. Miles Munro, there will be no rediscovery of the kingdom. There will be no spirit of leadership. Think how many corporations prosper today. The world is waiting for yours. Stop waiting on God. Be serious. Some of you started writing one book. God inspired it. You wrote one page and you just left it. Be serious. Why don't you get a recorder? Ah, I'm a public speaker. Start speaking. Don't wait until there are people. Speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself. God will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained. Are we together? There is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity. There is a dimension of dominion. The Aliko Dangotes and the, the, the Oprah Winfrey's and the Bill Gates and even in the body of Christ, Great men like the Papa Deboyes, the Wisdom Center. Think how many things have come out of people. You were never, the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within. To draw from within. Not just to complete a number of courses. Are we together now? Our educational system, we salute it, but it's limited in many ways. And one of it is in supplying, stimulating creativity. You must reinvent yourself. There is no such thing as being educated. You are learning or you are out. Don't say I'm educated. You are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out. Make up your mind today. 
that I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are uncommon mentors in every area in this house. Whether it is in business, whether it is in finance, whether it is in leadership. Koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas. You have not identified them because you are not passionate. Pursuit is proof of passion. You must find out and search who can help me I, I have a passion for leadership who can help me not to sit and say when will they organize something to help us now it will never happen we like free things we're careless and callous and you know we, we have to challenge ourselves it is a secret of poverty secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen I know Abba is it not the God of Koinonia I know one day he will visit me you can dance all your life and remain the way you are fall down under the anointing roll up and down and get up you have commanded dominion realities are ready to be released in the spirit but there is no creativity no innovation next week is miracle service is it oh dear i would have added one more part it's too late there are two more things i have to talk about there is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding let me just state them quickly maybe another time we'll do a recap i really apologize wisdom and understanding that's the next point part of the ministry of the dominion mandate we dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding is a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least proverbs chapter 8 we're out of time but please just um Bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done let's read verse 1 media please take note verse 1 and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 then we're reading verse 22 to 23 then we're reading verse 35 and 36 i'll help you in case you've forgotten let's start verse 1 then we are going to verse 15, 16, 17. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. So these are spirits, these are personalities, these are not just attributes that men have. Are we together? 15 now to 17. Then we are going 22 to 24. Verse 15 says, okay, by me kings reign, and princes decree what? Justice. 16. By me, princes rule. So how do you rule? Wisdom, understanding. And nobles, even the judges of all the earth. There's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding. 17. I love them that love me. And those who seek me, what? You can seek wisdom later and not find it. Because it takes time. 22 to 24. The Lord possessed me. Yay. 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 Are you a Christian? The Lord possessed me what? In the beginning of his way. Before the works of old. 23. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning. Or ever the earth was. That means before this earth concept came. I was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth. 24. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding in the water. I wish that we had more time. We would have read everything that was there. It was, it was I mean, it, it was 
all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who finded me finded life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me help me wrong get his own soul all they that hate me love death they have chosen to be defeated in life anyone who hates wisdom anyone who hates understanding is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me all they who hate me love death wisdom and understanding there is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom insight into the systems of god and having the fortitude the faculty the comprehension the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth or praise to wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you stay the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you 
what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of god was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of god and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song i'll be singing forever the Lord holy the Lord listen everybody say dominion through power say it again dominion through power many of you have received strong impartations in koinonia but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them either because you think you are not a man of god so when someone is sick you try my number it doesn't work you try a jimmy's number any of the heads of department and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders and then you now call sir can you pray for me one day you need to be angry and let today be that day that you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong i always have someone oppress me and he said no i i have been anointed in koinonia I, I there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick i say give me your hands i lay my hands on them i say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies i laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrees you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we are outside church you're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world then the manifestation of wisdom and understanding wisdom is justified by her children the strange results in your life that become testaments to the fact that you are a custodian of keys given to you by the wisdom of God and finally dominion by manifesting the raw power of the Holy Ghost rise up on your feet we'll be singing forever 
Let me prophesy to you before we pray. I just sense in my spirit to speak over our lives. Many of us have lost things. Many of us have not seen the reality of dominion in our lives. But I want to speak to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen, prophesy to yourself. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Hey, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Turn it into a prayer. My scepter restored. Dominion enforced. I declare it. I decree. Lift your voice and pray. The scepter, the symbol of authority. Zaza Sakato Shegete Bata. Brakato Skelebarianda Gashabaratofia. Everything, everything that was lost, everything I pursue, I overtake, I pursue, I overtake without fail. I recover, I pursue, I overtake without fail. I recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, every level that has been designed that I should enter by now in the realm of the spirit, I command that I must enter now in the physical, financially, spiritually, in influence. Every dimension, Joshua Selman enter that dimension. Every spiritual dimension you are entering, every dimension financially, every dimension in ministry, every dimension in influence, sociologically, I decree and declare, prophesy upon yourself. Prophesy upon yourself. Prophesy upon yourself. Shakoto soto koshe bakata. Leke teke teke te. Enough is enough. I take charge. I take charge. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. I want us to pray and challenge every force of darkness. I say I am back in charge. Back in charge. Lift your voice and pray. Shabas katatosh lekatekate. I may have been a, I may have been a prodigal son, but I'm back in charge. In the name of Jesus, legislature by the Spirit, dominion by the Spirit. I create my realities. I create my possibilities by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Shabato Sokoto Baratai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. It's time for you to receive that grace. There is the Spirit of the Lord. Isaiah 11, the Spirit of Dominion. Isaiah 11, there is the Spirit of the Lord. It's not just a name for the Holy Spirit. It is a dimension of his work in a man. The spirit of dominion is a rule thou. I want to speak to you. Right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy. That everything that has been above you. I release an anointing upon you. To rise above every challenge. 
right now in the name of Jesus take that fire now take that anointing now take that grace now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare whatever you are struggling with right now that you've been trying to come out and it's like he's burying you by the spirit of dominion I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus the unction for fruitfulness receive it right now nothing dies in your hands receive it now receive it now number two the grace for multiplication many of you have never brought anything out of you you are only eating the seeds of others i command that your seed begins to rule now in the name of jesus christ from today as you open your mouth to utter words i decree and declare there will be a speedy performance a speedy performance as you pass the crease in the spirit there must be a speedy performance for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace and balance i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. Listen, when you hear people testifying huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin 
is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying 
but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Je they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh forever yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remain helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014 no priest 2015 no priest that your dreams show you eden your life shows you adulam there's a system of translation are we together and all of a sudden the lord now spoke to samuel he didn't quarrel samuel he said samuel how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say, Oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, The day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence if that act will not go before us i'm not going no moses said because my going is as good as wasting my time i i i know what is before us and he said my presence will go with you and i will give you rest rest is a gift are you hearing what i'm saying rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened 
three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing. You are good and your mercies endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says all of a sudden they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, it's fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one. And the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a god, enshrined with spirits called Dagon. The Bible did not show us there were any physical contact. By morning, Dagon fell face forward on the ground. The superiority of the presence of God above any enchantment and any ordinance. When you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail, is because the ark has not been lifted. Tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same Jericho that causes barrenness. It is still Jericho. The Bible didn't say Jericho. Do you know, look at the interesting thing. Jericho fell flat, but the woman who stayed in the fence, how God delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand. But the Bible tells us everything fell down flat. To break every chain, Break every chain. 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 It's to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. Brothers and sisters, we're about to pray. But I plead with you in the name of the Lord to believe this mystery, as simple as it looks. And you will watch the wonder in your life. Stop focusing on physical things. You will cheat yourself a thousand times. Nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own. If anything on earth stands, there is a force keeping it. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, 
I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry. Because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do and I'm shocked. I say life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him. And in one week his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. And let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho. And you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. hallelujah i was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together I got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening I usually don't call people back but I was touched I called him I said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works I said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a, a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say I will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin to pray.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon Are we together? And so the Bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight. You will not need it. The moon, the sun and moon, they are important, but I'm introducing something. Jehovah, God himself, will be the light that sponsors your altar. The same way, listen, listen. That men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m. when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired 
of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown of the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho 
covered by the fence of Jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory total victory now i'm praying for families the anointing of god will come on individuals but it is for families it will come on you once that anointing comes on you now know that god is visiting your family lord i pray now i release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Shakata parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it 
but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes hey, her eyes your name is Sophia. how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes I'll pray for all of you but in the name of jesus christ i deliver this lady now this lady on red i command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i release you now by the power of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy spirit be set free right now set here the lord bring liberty liberty now I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life the spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is someone you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is Ola? i'm hearing a name Ola. Ola. i don't know if that's the full name but there's Ola. o-l-a there's someone with that name Ola. please don't come out if it's not your name who is this huh your name is Allah. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Allah. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now 
over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be well be to no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes. It will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empre bataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life, I curse those people now. I curse those people now. I curse those people now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Madam, I deliver you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death Take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing, open, 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 open now. I command that destiny, open. Open now, open now, open now, open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone? hold on hold on hold on don't worry i'll pray for the sick sir if i'm if i don't talk are you a last sir no don't don't come out until i ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year june yes, yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke yes. what is wrong with you yes all my body this is what i'm saying yes. i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus i command the power of the holy ghost upon your life i command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of jesus christ for all of you standing here my, my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do i'm a printer sir. you are what printer, printer nothing is working in your life i need to pray for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I break this embargo I see upon your hand in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this row I'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what I'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands Kabaroko to sobaria talikata jakaske barika dosia napata let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ all right mama I know that it's not time to pray but I want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone I, I did my and my heart has been here so one of my son friend brought me here when you are talking everything you say is just about as if you are where, where did you together. come from i come from uh, samaru from but, samaru um, Basawa. no problem mama yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something i've thank seen thank you jesus thank you Lord. say after me say in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, the suffering, the suffering, the sorrow, the sorrow in my life, in my life must, end. must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus, my dear, don't be embarrassed, eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people. But be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody gentlemen when it's time to pray for the sick we'll pray for you well huh? just be patient please help him so that he doesn't strain himself all of you lift your hands one scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what okay since then there is something that's been working on his body like you had an slave. accident yes sir okay and what happened and since then something has been working on his body on his stomach like snake at times the thing will are you seeing what i'm saying so it was never about accident you see accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord will destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse 211 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as trouble and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the flood stood up right as an heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea to 11 the enemy said i will pursue i will overtake i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water 
who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods, who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises, doing, not delivering, doing wonders. That's what you're about to see now. Lift your hands. He said, I will pursue, I will overtake my lust, my desire will fall upon the people of God. I want to pray. Listen, deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down. It's, it's, it's bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated teeth and hither. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer. A shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the Bible says the walls of Jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the one whom I serve and whose I am in the name of Jesus I declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of God's people as they shout this shout wherever they are I command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding I command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout Jesus at the count of three one two three In the name of Jesus, I command that fire to fall. Every power, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment. Go now, go now, go now. Every enchantment. Every enchantment, every enchantment, be free now. Hold on. Hallelujah. I usually don't do this until I'm directed. Hallelujah. I usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right. I just want to pass through. You don't have to touch me. Except it is not God that has called this meeting. If there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you Jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in Jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of Jesus ordinances be broken now I'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of Jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ be free now in the name of Jesus as I'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the Spirit of the Lord is telling me to stand here right now in Jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now 
from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it take a ta be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands overflow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now i release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray
Great grace, great grace, great grace, great grace. New season, new season. Mama, look at me. It's over, over, forever. Over, over, over. He's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone, pray in the spirit. Everyone, pray in the spirit. Everyone, pray in the spirit. Everyone pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness, overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, Three, I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady, that lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as I move, oh God, let the angel of your presence move. Let there be deliverance. It is over. That's what the Lord says to you. Over. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over. 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 Shabbos katai. Sheketes kalabra katoziata kata. Over. Now. In the name of Jesus. Over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is over. Please believe. As I'm passing you, don't, don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you over now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now, now, over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama, be free now in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural deliverance. Um, I'm seeing a circle here and the Lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle Lord where are they there are people here at least four of you I stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia enter enter that level that's what I hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria 
I'm hearing a name like a victory or Victoria. Who is that? Please, very quickly, want to pray for the sick now. It's like you are wearing something like blue. Blue. Who is that person? What's your name, madam? Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away. Right now, be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we go in with Victoria. All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Please, everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for me. Enter a new dimension. Enter a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I'm passing here now. There is an anointing. Move. Move to the next level. I'm prophesying to everybody standing here. Within the vicinity of this anointing. Step into a new dimension. I release that grace now. I release that grace now. I stretch my hands. Everything that has held you down. Let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus. My God, look at this. Are you seeing? The legs are rotting completely. In the name of Jesus, be free now. I command be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Go home and write it. Good news comes for me in 12 days. Lord, lose their destinies. I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shaba Sokos Kaliata. Embreketo Sasiketelikata. Jekros Kadabalako In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing. I have called you. Accept my call. Accept my call. Accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the spirit of god is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder. And the Lord is saying, it's time for your glory. It's time for your glory. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Collect that child quickly from Kenny. Collect that child. Speed that grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Hallelujah. Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions. The spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, 
the lord is multiplying it i'm seeing a bottle a bottle of oil a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight i i perceive god is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit i release that grace now upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ this usher lady come in the name of jesus christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the lord is saying i should tell you god is putting something in your eyes you will see things you will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato 
Where is she? Is she here? I'm seeing a flag being raised up. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. I'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit. The Lord is announcing you. I'm declaring, let that anointing come upon you. A new season. Let that flag be raised. In the name of Jesus, let that flag be raised. You will never, never be down. Let that flag be raised. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to pray for the sick. Let's just flow. God, you know, sometimes this is this lady, you come. Yes. Say for my shame. Say it for my shame. I receive double. The Lord is taking me to a new level, and I receive it. I lay my hands upon you in the name of Jesus. The grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life i lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you Look at me. It will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in. Amen. You believe what I'm saying? Lift your hands. Father, let this brother drink of the grace for favor. A fresh dimension. A fresh dimension. A fresh dimension of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady, you, come. The Lord is saying I'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this Look at this. Doctor, look at this. Is this sickness? Look at how the whole leg is rotting already. Please, quickly. You're sick in your body. Come quickly. Stand. If the people cannot move, just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace Pastor Lawrence, come. You will join them today. 
when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear huh fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly please bring them quickly unto you that answers prayers oh god shall all flesh come Rakato sodo prende ge barakato shabra diski la baria enda kato sata prakato jala baria kato prende ge de godos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata supriya da balaraba. Shakata parakata paroto supriya. Lord, arise in majesty arise in your power visit the case of people change impossible situations in the name of jesus christ lord let this be the last time they will write this in the name of jesus christ let this be the last time they will write this in the name of jesus let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Ende keto rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegete. Legata kato prandegate preshada belede bosh. hallelujah 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 please respond with a resounding amen in the name of jesus amen. father this is not a ritual i stand on behalf of your people lord these requests represent different dimensions of demonic jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny father as i step upon this let this be symbolic of the ark going around jericho yeah. hallelujah listen you're going to shout jesus we're going to shout jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act i know god i stand leading your people as we shout that name the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now I'll call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. 
Number two. Jesus. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Jesus. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll Every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life, shame and reproach, some of you is a pattern across your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever. Be rolled over your life forever. Be rolled over your life forever. hallelujah i release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and succeed I anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by God to rise up and come to your aid I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of Jesus I direct their eyes to you 
I say it again. Whoever has what it takes to help you, I direct their hearts to you. The same mystery that bound Jonathan and David, I declare, wherever your helper is, let it be as it were for Jonathan and David. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those in ministry here, I prophesy to you, a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will God deliver us I declare that your weeping has endured enough I prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of Jesus Christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of Jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of Jesus for the sake of God's hand upon your life I separate you with them forever this night I separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters I cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor I will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if you have seen favor in your life, by the grace of God, I release you to a new order of favor. A new order of favor. A new order of favor. Favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by God to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of God have been achieved I call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God but I release my faith with you and I declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here trusting God for a good job 
not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of jesus i agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i decree and declare may your gates be continually open now i want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us i want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some carnal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.